Moti Island, Torres Strait, 1981. Philemon Beamer reclines on a trestle table made up as a bed under a woven leaf shade. From here he must crane to see the sea but can watch his younger progeny playing and is near enough the cooking hut to call to daughters, granddaughters and daughters-in-law. Where's my tea? is his current demand. This has been a running joke since his last two-pint mug. You'll get no rest, just pee all the time, the women call. You're too lazy to empty my bottle, counters the old man. A tall lolly jar under the trestle bed collects his urine. Get away, liar, they admonish, and Elizabeth, matronly but still a child to him, floats into his dim vision in her Sunday dress, flip-flopped feet slapping the sand. Let me get that thing. Must be for the dozenth time. Don't know why I can't just lie in the water, he says, way we used to. Oh, go on. That's before time talk. Bring me a bowl of salt water anyway. I want to smell it. Elizabeth folds her lips as she fits the end of the tube into a second bottle and removes the full one. It's a hot walk to the bay used by those who don't relieve themselves in the ripe cubicles outside family homes. These are emptied weekly by the honey wagon, but some get missed. Passing another bay, where toddlers splash in the shallows and adults fish, Elizabeth gives a general wave with her free hand. How is he? calls the woman bathing a baby. Her pink dress billows round her like a giant jellyfish. Ah, you know, 